Okie dokie. So we left off here. We had copied and pasted the data in. And again, you didn't have to copy and paste the data. I just did it because I'm lazy. Um, and I thought it would be good for you guys to see transposing data when you paste it. That is changing it from row form, which is how I had it in here, to column form, which is how I wanted it in the Excel spreadsheet. So, um, but you could just type if you wanted. And then I clicked on the column up here. I, I got up here to the A and I clicked and I sorted it because that really helps me out. Now I can see, okay, it says that we want to start at the lowest value. So we did that. I mean, you could round, like if it had been, I don't know, 1.23, you'd round to one. I mean, you just want to make it, make a number, excuse me, a, a sensible number. And then I need to find the class width. So I take the largest data value I have minus the smallest data I have value I have. Now notice those are up in the numerator there. That's a grouping symbol. So I got to find that first and I'm going to divide by how many classes I want. And the instructions said to give seven classes. Usually in the instructions somewhere they're going to tell you. In general, if they don't tell you, you want somewhere between like five and ten classes, somewhere in there, you know, whatever, whatever looks good. Oh, how do, why do I keep doing that? Ah, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to take my highest value. I'm going to write this out. Highest minus lowest. So you guys can see what I'm doing. So equals highest. No, oh, come on. How can you see what I'm doing if I keep the font that small? F highest value is right here, the 14, minus the lowest value, which is 1. And then I want to take that number and I'm going to divide it by seven because seven was the number of classes I wanted. Okay, so my class width is going to be equal to that number rounded, right? So I'm going to round up no matter what. If that had been like 1.15, it doesn't make any difference. You round up no matter what. Better make a note to yourself. Round up, period. No rounding down ever. So even if it was 1.01, .01, doesn't matter. You round it up to 2. So we would round to 2. So our class width is that. Now you could, you know, round to 1.9, but I mean, why would you want to? I mean, whole numbers work better. So in general, we like to keep class widths whole numbers, if at all possible. Um, if you can't make it whole numbers, maybe half numbers, like 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, that kind of thing. All right, now our class width is 1, or excuse me, is 2. Let me just make a note of that. Class width equals, what was it? 1.85, which we rounded to 2.00. So that's our class width. And I have no idea why that put that in parentheses. I didn't really mean to. All right. Now class width, if you'll recall, is not the distance from here to here. So don't make this three. No, 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 no. It's this guy down here is three right? Because it's the distance from this class to the next class. Okay. And then this one right here, right after it would be 5.000. Then the next one will be 7. Point. All right. All right. Now, if this is the lower class limit of this class, what's this upper class limit got to be? 2.999. And then I'm going to pause. i got to fill this out. All right, I filled all of them out, but I'm stuck here on the last one. So um, there is no next class, but you can tell what it would have been. The next number down here would have been 15. So this is 14.999. Another reason you can see it is the distance from 2 to 4 is 2. 4 to 6, 2. Plus 2 more makes 8. Plus 2 more makes 10. Plus 2 more makes 12. Plus 2 more makes 14. Because that class width of 2 is not only for the 1, 3, 5, and 7, but it's also for the 2.99, 4.99, 6.99. They're all two apart. All right, now you got to go through and count how many are in each group. And this is where, I mean, sorting it has totally helped us. Let me copy and paste this right into Excel. Hold on. There we go. All right, so 1 to 2.999, that's these four people right there, right? And then 3 to 4.999, that's this one, this one, and this one. That's three, and so on. All right, I'm going to finish this out, and I'll pause it. Hold on. There we go. I think I did it perfectly. I'll double check in, at the break <laughs> and make sure. But I counted how many were in each category. Like there's two between 13 and 14.999.